Hey guys, welcome back to the Oilers Fanatic. Today, we are going to take a look at the potential unrestricted free agent forwards that the Oilers could target to add to their roster next season. For this list, I've limited myself to my top six choices. I'm going to try and keep this list as realistic as possible. For instance, I don't see Alexander Ovechkin or Dougie Hamilton heading Edmonton's way. The Oilers have a good amount of cap space to spend, but they will still need to spend it wisely. And we have to face the truth. Despite the fact we have Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl, the Oilers still aren't at the top of most players' desired destinations. With all that being said, let's get started. I'm going to begin with two free agent forwards that I have on my Oilers roster for next season. You can check out all my picks for next season's roster at the link in the description below. At number one, Tomas Tatar. Currently with the Montreal Canadiens, Tatar looks to be headed to the UFA market and a prime target for the Oilers. He can play on Connors or even Leon's left wing if needed. He has the Detroit connection with Ken Holland and the potential to break out playing with a star player. What will he cost? My guess, $5 million per year on a four-year, $20 million deal. Next up, at number two, Blake Coleman. Currently with the Tampa Bay Lightning, Coleman has been a huge part of the Lightning's success, backing up their star players with solid play at a discount price. But it looks like discount time is over, and Coleman will be looking for a raise, pricing himself out of Tampa Bay. The Oilers have the money and can slide Coleman seamlessly into the second or third line. What will it cost? My guess, $4 million per year on a three-year, $12 million deal. Next up at number three, Brandon Saad. Currently with the Colorado Avalanche, Saad looks poised to have a great shot in another Stanley Cup this season. He would be another upgrade on the wings of the Oilers and provides cup experience and leadership. Another strong addition for the Oilers if he heads to the UFA market. What will he cost? My guess is $5.5 million per year on a four-year, $22 million deal. And at number four, Mike Hoffman. Currently with the St. Louis Blues, Hoffman has been a bit of a journeyman the last few seasons, going from team to team. He has a lethal shot and can produce, but there is a lot of talk about him being bad in the locker room. He could potentially be a huge ad for the Oilers, but issues could arise. What will he cost? My guess is $5 million per year on a four-year, $20 million deal. We go to number five, Zach Hyman. Currently with the Toronto Maple Leafs, Hyman has proven he can play with star players and produce. You know, just not in the playoffs. The Oilers are in desperate need of a winger that fits that bill. I think the Maple Leafs find a way to keep Hyman, but if he does reach free agency, the Oilers would be wise to put in a bid. What will he cost? My guess is $5.5 million per year on a four-year, $22 million deal. Last but not least, number six, Taylor Hall. Currently with the Boston Bruins, and from the sounds of it, he's likely to stay there. But if Halsey made it to the UFA market, the Oilers should definitely take a look. I had my fingers crossed the Oilers would acquire him at the trade deadline, but as we know, he headed to Boston and has flourished. The Oilers have needed a left winger like him since he left. I don't think he's available come free agency, but if he is, I would not be upset if the Oilers brought him home. What will he cost? My guess is $6 million per year on a five-year, $30 million deal. Well guys, that's my list of six free agent forwards that the Oilers could potentially land if they reach the free agent market. Who's on your list? Sound off in the comments below. Enjoying the videos? Please subscribe for the latest updates. Look for my list of the top six defensemen the Oilers could potentially sign coming up in the next video. Take care, guys, and thanks so much for supporting the channel.